Listen to this. Uh, I have not prayed for you. Okay. In fact, what I wanted to tell you is, I want to prove to you something. Pray for you is not to pray for a one demon. Like when I'm praying for you, like this. I'm not fighting one demon. The Bible says when demon goes out, he search for many demons. After we pray for you, there will be temptations to make you to do what is wrong. Can you maintain your own deliverance? So that we must not always pray fighting wrong spirits in your life. Because when I'm praying for you here, I can see that you have been prayed for how many times? But your life now is important. You need to live a right life. If you understand that. After we pray for you, you must go and live a right life. When you are living a right life there, these spirits will come and check if you are still the same. You will be tempted so, so that you must sin. Tell yourself you don't want to sin. You carry on. Listen, if you fall by the same sin you fall, you are still on the same place. If you are being challenged by one thing, you have not yet moving forward. You are in one place. If you lie here, you confess lies, you move forward. When you lie, you go back to the same place. You are in one place. But for you to know that God is taking you forward, you'll be tempted after you are delivered to lie. So when you don't lie, you have moved forward. I'm sure you understand that. So we must not struggle with one spirit of taking you back to zero. When you move from here, you people, some of you, you are not married, but you are living a wrong life. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. So now, when you move out from here, it won't be very easy for you. You are going to be challenged and questioned. So that Satan will say, do what you were doing. You are still on the same spot. When we pray for you, we'll be fighting the same demon that put you there. So your life is important. Your life is very much important, how you are living your life before God. Okay, you are here. You, are, you, are, you have been tempted here. You are here. You are delivered from the demon of lust. I'm sure you understand that. After you are de delivered from the demon of lust, you say, okay, let me accept Jesus. You accept Jesus. You move forward. When you move forward, when you are here, that demon will come and say, you have got a spirit of lust. Go back. So now, if you do what you were doing there, it means you have agreed to go back to zero. I don't know if you're hearing me. But if you overcome that, you have moved forward. So don't ever think when we are praying for you, we are praying for you for the same spirit. It might be you who's making us to pray for one demon. Because on the other hand, you call that demon after church. How I many of you are hearing what I'm trying to say? You are hearing what I'm trying to say? I've prayed for you so that God will bless you. Same applies. Now you have moved from there, you are here. But when you move out from here, the devil will say, can you see it's hard to get a job? You begin to say, ah, truly it's hard. You are going back. Listen, every prayer, every utterance we speak here, remember whatever we bound here is bound where? Yeah. Whatever we lose here is lose where? Yeah. But you are, you are the one who can decide your destiny. After we pray for you here, when you live here, when somebody wants to tempt you to do what you did before, you say, well, no, 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 I can't do that. I'm a child of God. It means you are delivered. Deliverance is nothing if it does not bring a change in your life. Deliverance, number one, it must bring character. The life of Jesus Christ must come to you. Number two, movement in life. You must go to your prosperity life. If you are here, you are delivered from a demon that is holding like my sister, that sister you were hearing. There's a demon that doesn't want her to marry. Where is she? Yes. She's, she's still down here. Can you see this sister here? After you are delivered, there's going to be a temptation to her. 
Somebody can just call, hello. Hey, I saw you in a church. So you were sleeping down, eh? I, I even laugh at you. You begin to say, me? Falling down? No. I can't fall down. Me? No, I saw you. And the demon was saying, one, two, three. Ah, no, 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 I don't care about that demon. But what you can say is, say, no, you see what? I'm delivered. Unless I'm delivered, I'm expecting my miracle. Because people who are close to you are the ones who are causing delay. You know, a person like me, because I don't have a friend, nobody can delay me. Nobody can delay. You can't, tell, you can't call me and say, hello, you are stupid. I will say, glory be to Jesus. Hello, you are mad. Thank you, Jesus. Because I know it's only Jesus, it's not what he's saying that takes me forward. So now, if we consider what people are saying, temptations, problems, challenges, you people here, you'll be prayed for until your head starts to be like this. I believe today, something has happened into your life. 